Hey, what's up, guys? So, I was trying to play, or more or less test, my R9 390, which is now, by the time I'm doing this narration, way gone. I sold it a while ago, but at the time, I wanted to do a video about the R9 390. How does it perform in 2020? How does it perform in Hitman 2? So, I launched Hitman 2 to test the card, and I immediately noticed that my temperature was climbing to a very scary temperature. For reference, I get scared when my 1080 Ti goes above 84 degrees, so when my card was up in the 90s and hundreds of degrees, I got scared. So, in this video, I'm going to be deep cleaning and kind of showing you how to deep clean your graphics card, and in this case, not 990, and how to re-pad it, re-thermal paste it, and everything. Now, this video is very bad. I'm saying this in advance. I lost a lot of recording. I missed even me unscrewing the graphics card, so I'm sorry, but I'm going to post it anyway, just in case this helps you. I recorded this so long ago, and I'm just getting around to editing it and everything, so hopefully this helps somebody who at least maybe gives you some confidence to open up and clean up your card. This is the point. Let's get into the cleaning and how to clean a graphics card so as you can see what i've done here is i've opened up the card obviously unscrewed all the backplate screws the four retention screws that keep the copper cold plate on the gpu and the one screw that was required in the front where the display ports are to actually get off the uh entire assembly of the cooler so now we're left with our blank pcb with our you know all of our stuff on it and what i've done is i've taken you know 90 percent isopropyl alcohol is recommended but i just took 70 percent honestly water at some point will even work and i'm just taking some q-tips and i'm trying to see okay should i go with just the you know light, light cleaning can i just brush this off you can see there is clearly dirt like i don't know i bought this used from i guess a mining place and then i just gave up and dumped the isopropyl alcohol oh over the board because uh there's there was no hope in in the in that strategy that i was going with there so basically all i've done is i've just dumped out some alcohol all over it because that is actually completely fine to do i could actually use soap and water here if i wanted to because science fact you can't actually damage electronics unless there is electricity in or running through it at the time so without it it's just a piece of you know pcb with traces and the memory all over it but it can't be damaged by liquid because there's no electricity running through it so as long as you leave it time to dry getting water on your card when it's off like i could throw it in a bath and and theoretically speaking it would actually be fine and that would clean it off well but like i said i've just dumped all the isopropyl alcohol on here and i'm just i'm just rubbing it around with a you know q-tip you can use a napkin whatever you use just try not to the biggest thing i've been trying not to do and that's why i'm being a very delicate using a q-tip here is i'm trying not to break any surface mounted components off the board uh, if a capacitor falls off or one of those weird shunt resistors whatever they are on the back i don't know what they're called uh science term if they break off that could break the entire card and there's nothing you can do about it so all i'm doing here is just going through wiping off all my memory you know wiping off the back plate a little bit and just anywhere where i see dirt i'm just getting to make sure there's alcohol there and that's Next, I'm going to move on to cleaning off the cooler. So, for the cooler, I had two choices, which was either A, keep or maybe try to clean the thermal pads or just straight up take them off. And these were so disgusting. They were literally covered in dirt and dust that they were probably useless. So, I just took a scraper tool for my iFixit kit and I just uh, scraped off every single thermal pad. We are going to be replacing them. Uh, I cannot use these. So... In terms of replacing thermal pads, it's recommended that you first, um, before taking apart your GPU or anything, order some thermal pads, and definitely enough. Maybe order more than you think you need. Um, you just get so many thermal pads that you can cut down to size and make sure you get enough of them. And basically, you're just going to take apart your card and, you know, scrape them off. Uh, and then, of course, clean the area where they were, you know, where the thermal pads were with some isopropyl alcohol or whatever you're choice of cleaner is in this situation and just of course get that all clean and of course any old thermal paste we're going to be replacing the thermal paste because after a while you definitely should replace the thermal paste and was going to rub everything off the board including all the residue from all those disgusting thermal pads and and the thermal paste that has dried on to here and we're, we're replacing everything like anything basically we're left with bare metal bare pcb components we're going to be replacing everything i was going to dump a ton of alcohol on this board i really should have just used water i mean it is literally just it is 
metal. That's all it is. It's not even like there's no electronics really in here except for like fans and such. And I've washed fans with water all the time. You know, it might be bad. Who knows? I don't care. But basically, uh, I could have just used water here, but I used isopropyl alcohol just to be safe. And, uh, and that's really it. So it's going to finish off cleaning this cooler. And we're going to get back to the board. So we're back at the PCB and I noticed that there's still some dirt, especially around a lot of these capacitors at the back. And it's just, it's still kind of grimy. And well, yes, it would probably be fine to, you know, repad the, the memory and repaste the GPU and put it back together. I am planning on selling this card. Well, at least I was planning at the time to sell the card. It's already sold now. So I definitely want to get it as clean as possible for the next person who's going to use it. So I can spend the extra few bucks on some isopropyl alcohol and, you know, dump it all over this board and of course here's a little time lapse of me just going through wiping off everything again and trying to get as much of the thermal paste off the gpu as i can some thermal paste just won't come off the gpu it's too dried on and i didn't want to put too much pressure because i don't want to start scraping stuff off the die of a gpu even though it's unlikely but i ain't taking any risks so i'm just making sure to be very light and make sure to go for the dirt and not cut off or scrape off in this case any surface mounted components and now i'm going to start re-padding the memory now you can see what i tried here at the beginning which was like trying to draw with sharpie on the plastic covering of the pad like trying to mark out where to cut and you know pad each one individually which is entirely an option if you want to be very you know uh, particular about it that's how it was in the beginning each memory has its own pad on it which is fine it's totally fine to do it'll give you do a little bit of effort but it might look better in the end i am terrible at measurements and everything in between and math so i tried it at the beginning and i noticed very quickly that no it wasn't going to work so i did the easier method and you might waste a few more pads doing it but i just took entire pads stretched them out maybe cut off a little bit to make them a little thinner you can just use regular scissors see to make them a little thinner and just stretched them across the components that need to be padded and that seemed to work fine for me and i made sure to check uh on the cooler to look at where there were a little extruding uh, areas where a thermal pad would likely go and that's where I was putting my thermal pads on the PCB to make sure every little thing got thermal pads now in the end I almost entirely forgot to repaste my GPU so this is probably the worst pacing job I've ever done but I was not risking the fan header one thing I'm going to say now be careful of your fan and RGB header. This board, or this card in general, does not have RGB, so I didn't have to worry. But it does have a fan header, and fan headers will tear right off the PCB, basically making your card either water cooling only or completely useless. So, be very careful. I was not, And pulling it off was risky enough, because I could see the header moving. You gotta be very careful when taking it off. But, um... I was not going to take off the fan header again or take out the fan cable from the header. So I just quickly pasted the GPU, which worked fine. As long as I covered the GPU with a good amount of thermal paste. Uh, I used some uh, Arctic MX4 and that seems to work wonders. And I just put the GPU back together. One time-lapsed assembly later, and we are almost ready to, we just have to screw in all of our screws back in to put this card back together, and basically get it ready again for play. Now, uh, of course, there were a ton of screws, and thankfully I didn't lose any, because it's recommended either use a magnetic parts tray, and I fix a kit, I fix a kit, uh, magnetic screwdrivers, they all help so much, especially in doing stuff like this, uh, with the scraping and all that, so that was great, but uh, that's really it, so put the card back together, we're going to install it in our system, and let's see our temperatures Welcome now. Welcome to Mumbai for 